Good evening, Katie. That's right. The sheriff tells Fox 24 that they're going to be getting tablets for inmates to get their mail, but it actually won't happen until October 16th. New improvements are on the horizon for the Ector County Sheriff's Office. We've got a kiosk installed in the cell. The inmate has a password to access that uh, kiosk. Uh, they, uh, their, their mail is sent to, the inmate mail will be sent to a, a, a address in Florida. They scan it in and the inmate accesses it via the kiosk. The best part for the sheriff's department, it will also increase staff safety. Things are sent that, that could be ingested via your your breathing uh, or you know if, you, it were, if it were to touch your skin. So it'll be much safer. If there's contraband found in the, in, the, in the envelope, the company will notify us, will you know take proper action at that time. After expanding the jail, ECSO says they have been looking into ways to improve efficiency. Reduces our paper load tremendously. The ladies are not going to have to go through through all this mail, which takes sometimes hours each day. Um, so we're not going to physically handle the mail unless it's legal mail. The inmates will still receive the original paper legal mail. According to the sheriff, the new tablet system won't cost taxpayers more money. It's Fifty cents for each uh, mail or, or letter, a, a dollar for for a, an image. It'll all be funded by the inmate or his uh, or her commissary account. They have access to grievances, medical request, law library, uh, a commissary. The sheriff says inmates won't have to worry about waiting longer for their mail, but it also won't get there any sooner. The new tablets will take the standard five days. That was Felicia Romero reporting for us tonight.